how does a nuclear bomb work? Is there any fictional weapon that could be more powerful than a nuke that is scientifically possible? So I have a video on this channel, which is a crash course on nuclear physics, and it tells you how nuclear weapons work. Let me try and uh, bring that out over here. So let's go to, let me share the screen. This is my channel. Let me search for crash course, crash course. And you will see, not the philosophy crash course, but the nuclear physics and nuclear weapons crash course, which is about 13 minutes. It's from three years ago. Uh, if you have 13 minutes to spare, watch this video and it will tell you exactly how nuclear weapons work. So nuclear weapons, just to answer it without, go, despite giving you that uh, reference as well, nuclear weapons are of two kinds. Fission weapons, mainly two kinds. There's more, but mainly two kinds. Fission weapons and fission fusion two-stage weapons. A fission weapon, it essentially, the principle behind it is nuclear fission. A neutrons split uh, uranium atoms and release a tremendous amount of energy and that creates a chain, chain reaction that goes out of control and that is your chain nuclear reaction chain, uh, chain reaction, which releases a tremendous amount of energy in a very short amount of time and that is your standard nuclear fission bomb. But if you want to take it a level further, a whole different uh, next level thing essentially like you say, then you use the initial fission explosion, fission reaction as the trigger for a fusion reaction. So you have deuterium pellets etc whatever that you fuse together and so on and that, that fusion reaction, that implosion creates a fission rea fusion reaction that releases even more energy than a fission reaction. That's a thermonuclear hydrogen bomb or thermonuclear fission fusion bomb. So that's the two major kinds of nuclear weapons. And the principles behind it you can study in quantum mechanics. Uh, fish, is there any fictional weapon that could be more powerful than a nuke that is scientifically possible? Yes, yes. According to the laws of physics, you can have the most powerful weapon you can imagine, uh, which is more powerful than a nuke, than a fusion nuclear bomb, is uh, an antimatter bomb. So antimatter is like normal matter, but it has opposite charges, opposite quantum numbers. And you bring antimatter and matter together, they simply annihilate and then release pure energy. Um, and gram for gram, antimatter releases way more energy than a nuclear fusion reaction. But antimatter is incredibly scarce. Uh, there's a very, very small amount of antimatter that has been produced ever in all the colliders, etc., that we have uh, in physics labs, gigantic physics labs like the LHC, Large Hadron Collider. Maybe we have a few milligrams at most that have ever been produced of antimatter. So if you were to price, put a, put a, put a price tag on antimatter, it would be a few trillion dollars per, per, per kilo. A few trillion dollars per kilo. That's the kind of price it is. But if you have one kilo of antimatter, it will far give way more energy than a kilo of uranium or plutonium. So the most powerful weapon you can imagine is an antimatter weapon, antimatter bomb that I can think of right now. I'm sure you can possibly think of something worse. Maybe a black hole weapon or something. But yeah, explosive power, antimatter is, I would say, the ultimate.